they told us about it and it was like a nice treat. And we were Two like, student leaders at Austin Middle School are giving Irving Mayor Rick Stouffer a campus tour. This is our newest lab. And that's where the tour stops. I mean, we can't go in. We're not allowed in there. Now that's changing. Irving's first Verizon Innovative Learning Lab is now open, full of emerging technology that students are getting their hands on for the first time. This is incredible. I mean, it's so exciting. What I love the most is seeing what I see in the student faces. Alicia Tejeda immediately wanted to learn about making 3D figures. It's really cool. I've never done it before. It's my first time. Others went for virtual reality. What is she seeing through something like this? Uh, she's probably looking like a roller coaster. You're going to need a battery. While today is mostly about fun with technology. I have my Yoda, my baby Yoda right here. Of course, there are educational applications for all of this. Well, VR, virtual reality, is when you put the goggles on and it can take you anywhere. We're going to teach history by taking them to ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. We're going to teach uh, literature by taking them to the setting of a book. Tell me about the difference it can make in job opportunities in learning now in the classroom. We are preparing them for jobs that we know right now don't even exist. This opportunity will open up the door for them to just see the different types of uh, career pathways that the world of technology can offer. Jobs used to be set and they're not set anymore. So what we need to focus on now is thinking skills. There's something called design thinking. I want to study uh, dermatology. Eighth grader Melanie Lozano already sees how her STEM studies could help her help patients. Very important, um, you know, to you know look at your DNA and see what you need and what you don't need. What do you think this copper tape does? This lab is the result of additional grants from Verizon, one of the city's major employers. Irving ISD is already the first in the nation to have all of its middle schools in Verizon's innovative learning initiative which means free tablets and internet access for students. As we operate in the various communities, uh, we want to be not just operating there, but also participating in the community, affecting positive change in the community. So this, this is just one example of what we're doing. And they've really stepped up in a lot of ways. As they expand and, uh, and become more corporate-minded in our, our area, they, they want to be part of uh, the team. Uh, team Irving. We're currently applying for the lab in three more of our schools and we're crossing our fingers to add another one, maybe two more of these labs. Other partners include the nonprofit Heart of America, which helps with construction, and Arizona State University, which develops curriculum. I think it's really important that we instill this design thinking idea in these students young. A lot of people may be hesitant to a lot of the emerging technology that's out there, but as soon as you get into these kids' hands, they see all of the good things that can be done with it, and I think that's amazing. Here's evidence of that. You may have heard the story behind this music. Nimitz High School students used a 3D printer to create a prosthetic arm so a middle school student could achieve her dream of playing the cello. It's the type of inspiring innovation that could happen again in this very room. So we're teaching the students how to create products for the future that are helpful to the communities that they're in and empathize with those communities. Educators are going far beyond the basic school subjects. Computational thinking, artificial intelligence, coding. To get students ready for the careers and world of tomorrow. I think it's important as a community that we see the great things that are happening in our district. It is important that we all work together because we are investing in the future of our students. Thomas Gandy for City Source.